Okay, this video is going to talk about the fourth unit of energy, uh, the kilowatt hour. Um, and I would argue that this is probably the most important unit we're going to talk about for AP Environmental Science because it's the unit that electricity is measured in. Um, so electrical energy is usually measured in kilowatt hours. And it doesn't matter where you get your electrical energy from, whether you get it on your own, off the grid, through solar or geothermal or wind, or if you buy it from a power plant that gets it from solar or wind or burning coal or burning natural gas. When we're talking about electricity, we're talking about kilowatt hours. And most modern homes require electricity, so it's an extremely important unit. Uh, it's also a pretty confusing unit, so I want to talk about uh, each part of it here. Uh, first of all, you notice this is a prefix, so we could talk about a smaller unit, the watt hour, or we could talk about the kilowatt hour, or we could have an even bigger unit, the megawatt hour, or even bigger, the kilowatt hour, the gigawatt hour. Um, but it's usually the kilowatt hour that is uh, used. The K's got to be lowercase because it's it's a prefix kilo. The W is capitalized because it's named after James Watt, a physicist. And the H is lowercase for hour. Um, now this right here, the Watt, is the source of some of the confusion because a Watt all by itself is a measure of power, but a Watt hour is a measure of energy. And they're two different things. Even though in common terms we talk about power and energy as kind of the same thing. In terms of science and their measurement and their equations, they're different. Um, let me just briefly say about the watt. Uh, the watt's a derived unit. It's the amount of joules per second. So joules per second. So that's what power is. Power is energy divided by time. So power is, is a rate. Anytime you divide by time, it, you're talking about a rate, like miles per hour. You're talking about the rate at which you're moving. Power is the rate at which you're using energy. So if, say we talk about an old-fashioned incandescent light bulb. Um, this thing, say, requires 100 watts in order to run. In other words, it won't light up unless every second you're supplying it with 100 joules of energy. And that's the rate at which it's going to use up energy. Other things will use more or less power depending on their size and what they're doing. So if you look at this that I drew, our little incandescent light bulbs use, needs 100 watts of power. A newer compact fluorescent light bulb uses significantly less. It only needs 23 watts of power in order to supply the same amount of light. Um, a DVD player, not much, 35 watts of power because, you know, it's just spinning a little thing. Um, a big table fan, significantly more if it's running on high. I have 230 watts here, um, can vary. Uh, a microwave, a big microwave running on high can use as much as 2,000 watts of power. And a dryer, which is one of the biggest consumers of power in the house, the dryer and an electric hot water heater, um, can use as much as 4,000 watts of power to run. That's why it's got that funny four-pronged plug, because the power's coming in at a different volt in order to be more efficient, So it's, it's, uh, because it's using so much. So these are measures of power. Now, when you talk about energy, you're talking about uh, how much total power are you, do you require. So let's go back to our little light bulb. Um, our old-fashioned incandescent light bulb that you shouldn't have in your house anymore. Say this thing needs 100 watts and say you run it for one hour, you have it burning in your house, you have used a total of 100 watt hours of energy. So this is 
the power it needs. And this is how long you ran it for. So this is the total amount of energy that you use to run it. Say it's the evening, everybody's home from school and work, and say you have 10 of these light bulbs burning all throughout the house. So there are 100 watt light bulbs, they're all running for an hour. Now you've, after one hour, you've used 1,000 watt hours of energy. 1,000 is 10 to the 3, which is kilo, so you've used one kilowatt hour of energy. So that's how you can think of a kilowatt hour. A kilowatt hour is the amount of energy needed to run 10 100 watt light bulbs for an hour. How much does that cost? Depends on where you live. In the state of Maryland, we pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, other states pay less if they have, say, uh, sources you know, like from big dams. Some states like Hawaii, I think Hawaii pays the most because uh, a lot of its electricity comes from burning fuel that they bring in on ships. Um, so it depends on, on what your source is, uh, how much you pay. If you look at this old electricity bill of mine from Allegheny Power, you can see it has here, maybe you can't read it, it says total kilowatt hours used. So it counts up my total kilowatt hours used and charges me based on that. And it gives me a, a rundown of when I've used more or less. You can see this is the middle of the winter. My, our, my old house was heated by electricity. So in the winter our, our electricity use would spike. Some people's electricity use, usage spikes in the summer when they're running air conditioners. Um, you can also see why your mom yells at you to turn the lights out because every hour you leave them on, your bill's going up. Okay, let's do a couple of problems now. Um, the first one I want to do is running the dryer. How much energy would be used to run the dryer for one hour? Well, going back to our dryer, we said, and you'd be given this, you wouldn't have to know this, you'd be given that the dryer uses 4,000 watts of power. So if the dryer's using 4,000 watts of power, you run it for one hour, you've used 4,000 watt hours. If you want to simplify that to four kilowatt hours, usually it's, you're going uh, to list your unit in kilowatt hours. So running this dryer, took four kilowatt hours of energy. So 40 cents to run the thing. So save money, hang your clothes out to dry. Or dry it less, use it half the time. All right, say we wanna run something else. Let's do another one. Say we wanna run uh, the microwave for 15 minutes every single day for a year. How much energy is that gonna be? Well, again, you've been given in the problem you'd be given, and we're gonna, we'll use 2,000 watts of power. So our microwave uses 2,000 watts of power. We're running it for 15 minutes. So multiply by 15 minutes every day. We're running it. And we have to run it for a whole year, which is 365 days in one year. Now you can see if we were to do this math out, uh, days would cancel but we'd have watt minutes and that's not the unit that's typically used. We want watt hours so we're gonna convert this, we have to get rid of this minutes and convert it to hours and we know the relationship between those. We know there's 60 minutes in one hour so that would get rid of our minutes. And now if we multiply this out, our unit will come out to watt hours per year, which is what we want. Watt hours per year. And we could change the decimal to make it into kilowatt hours per year. Um, one thing I want you to note, you could skip this step entirely if you uh, change this unit right off the bat. And some of you, I'm sure, might. You can see 15 divided by 60, 
right? 15 divided by 60 is 1 quarter, which is 0.25, right? That's what 15 minutes is. It's a quarter of an hour. If this is our clock, 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So you could have done 2,000 watts times a quarter of an hour every single day times 365 days in the year. You can skip this step entirely or just done it in your head. All right, so uh, this we're going to multiply this straight across 2,000 times 0.25 times 365, and it comes out to 182,500 watt hours. Again, we really should report this in kilowatt hours, so I'll move the decimal three places 182.5 kilowatt hours is how much energy it took to run this microwave for 15 minutes every day for a year. All right, the next problem I want you to look at is what would this cost? Knowing we're paying 10 cents a kilowatt hour, how much would this cost? So, we used 182.5 kilowatt hours. We have to pay 10 cents for every one kilowatt hour we use. Kilowatt hours cancel. Our decimal place will move again. It's going to cost $18.25 just to run that microwave. So think about all the things you're running in your house and how much they cost to do. It gets to be very, very expensive. All right, that's it.